Hey guys, this is Eddie Max TV Chains where we bring you hot hot stories from all corners of life. And if you are new here, please please don't forget to subscribe. Hi everyone, wherever you are watching us from, this is Eddie Max TV Trends where we bring you hot, hot stories from all corners of life. Today, our person of interest is Jeff Koinange. Jeff Maura Koinange was born on January 7th, 1966 in Kiamba village in Kiambu County. He is a Kenyan journalist and a host of Jeff Koinange live talk show on Citizen TV. He is also a radio host alongside Nick Odiambo of The Breakfast Show at Hot 96. After high school in St. Mary's 1984, Jeff was recruited as a flight attendant for Pan AM World Airways in 1986. It was while he was there flying the friendly skies for a year and a half that he discovered his communication talent. When he did announcements on the plane, passengers applauded every time saying they loved his voice as well as how he did the announcements. At this point, he quit the airline and joined journalism classes in Kingsborough and later New York University. Jeff Koinange's big career break came in July 2001 when CNN was shopping for a bureau chief for their office in Lagos, Nigeria. He took the position and worked for CNN in Lagos in Johannesburg, South Africa for five years. He has previously worked at NBC News, ABC News, Reuters TV, KTN and K24. He was CNN's Lagos bureau chief for five years before becoming the New York Senior Africa correspondent in Johannesburg. He was a judge representing Kenya at the New East Africa's Got Talent, which premiered on 4th of August 2019. He worked with KTN on his branded news program, Jeff Koinange Live. Jeff Koinange joined East Africa's Got Talent as a judge alongside Gaetano Kagwa, Makeda Mahadeo, and Vanessa Mdi. Jeff Koinange joined Kingsborough Community College in Brooklyn, New York, where he studied broadcast technology and management. He graduated top of his class with honors and got a scholarship to study at the prestigious New York University, where he graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in broadcast journalism in 1991. Prior to joining CNN, Koinange worked for Reuters Television from 1995 to the year 2001 covering Africa and serving as their chief producer from 1999 to 2001. He also worked as a producer at NBC News in 1994 and earlier worked for ABC News from 1991 to 1992. He married his second wife, Sheila Koinange, in 1998 after divorcing his first wife, Sonia, in 1994. Together they are blessed with one child, Jamal Mbiu, born in 2007. Jeff first met his current wife, Sheila, in 1986 when they both went for interviews to be flight attendants with the Pan AM airline at Nairobi Safari Park. Jeff Koinange had fallen in love with a Panamanian lady and their flight instructor called Sonia. They got married in 1988 and parted ways in 1994. Koinange said the ex-wife would forever remain special for the rest of his life. They parted ways after he caught her red-handed in bed with another man. In early 2007, Koinange was reprimanded by the government of Nigeria for his coverage of the movement for the emancipation of the Niger Delta MEND. He has also covered news outside of Africa, including extensive reporting on the aftermath of the Hurricane Katrina crisis in the U.S. and the Iraq war. On 29th May 2007, CNN announced that Koinange was no longer employed by the network. 
Seven months after leaving CNN, Koinange was hired as a news anchor by a new Kenyan TV station, K24, which began test transmissions in Nairobi in December 2007. He was the host of Capital Talk Show. He now hosts Jeff Koinange Live, a talk show aired on Citizen TV Kenya, part of Royal Media Services, and a prime news anchor for the same station. Jeff Koinange is the author of his autobiography book titled Through My African Eyes, Published in 2014 by the Footprints Press Kenya, Koinange describes his school days and his career climb to be one of Africa's most recognized journalists. Despite being a public figure, he has kept a lot of his personal life private, and the book serves as a window into his life. Koinange has been very prominent in giving back to the community in different ways. In 2017, he began an initiative to develop and stock a library in the Kibera slums where students from the neighborhood can gain access to reading material. He has also done notable speaking engagements such as at the Journalism in Africa Forum organized by a community organization called Fatuma's Voice in 2016. Koinange is a country music lover and appeared with Kenyan singer Sir Elvis at the Country Roads event at Thika Greens Golf Resort in September 2019. In April 2016, robbers broke into Jeff Koinange's house in Kitusuru at 2 a.m. and stole electronics. The burglars, according to police, tied up the watchman and entered the house. The thugs, whose numbers were unknown, were armed with guns and shot once in the air as they escaped from the home. He said an alarm in the house went off, causing the gangsters to flee. In May 2015, Jeff Koinange was arrested for failing to appear in court. The dispute started in March 2015 when the complaints obtained orders against Jeff Koinange, KTN and the Standard Media Group restraining them from broadcasting or publishing defamatory statement concerning them and the company. Other than being one of the most generously compensated radio and TV hub in Kenya, Jeff who purportedly pockets a six-figure pay has utilized his monetary muscle on different occasions. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is Edimax TV Trends. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment for more stories to come. Bye-bye.